What a gorgeous day in Erie, Pennsylvania. Ooh, do you see new bins up ahead? Oh, what you putting out? What you putting out? We got a glass swan. Three ninety nine. Let me check your tail feathers. Got some pointy bits. Are you a spicy swan? Well, look at this little club here. Two ninety nine. Boy, it's got lots of marks over it. <laughs> God, I think this is a little coin bank. Little owl coin bank. And then we have another one of the horses. This is a little trinket dish for two ninety nine. What does that say? Dream. Smells good, looks good. My problem is what I am finding is cute and I like it, but it's just really, really worn. Now what did you find? I'm flying blind, but mm -hmm. at a dollar ninety nine. Yes. I'm willing to take this risk. I know where you're going. Okay. I know where you're going. So what's the we'll we'll check at the end, but we're thinking glow and possibly yep. cadmium green, and green on the bottom, right? Yep, cadmium. Let's and, get back uh, to the shop and test it out. Uranium. You see what this is down here? Is that some coffee thing? Yes, yeah, an espresso. Oh my gosh, it's an espresso machine. Yeah. Not that I would need espresso, although lately maybe I might need espresso. Those things are not cheap. Yeah, I did see that. It's not a horn. It's a cat horn. Maybe that's not the one I saw. I saw something here horn. recently that had broken beak. Unfortunately, it has a break there, but no, it's that's made a out. One. It's made yeah. out of a single cat horn. They yeah. want ten dollars for this guy. If he wasn't broken, I'd take him. But... Yeah, I guess so. this guy's broken in here. I like this piece of art. Did you see this here? Yeah. It's like a bird driving a... He's got the moon. It looks like he's riding a bicycle. Then we got more animals doing more fun things. Look, on roller skates. What do we got new in this section? Are you seeing anything? Is it a bird's birdhouse? Uh, let's do a breeze through here. We've got a flower hanger. It's pretty. Hobby Lobby, two ninety nine. dollars hmm. Somebody says, we'll reopen at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Two ninety nine. dollars These are great. You can pretty much write anything on them for the store. Got a giant Cherish. Paradise is where you make it. Ain't that the truth? Okay, all right. I do see this. I see this. Made dreams. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Can I flip that for eight dollars, or are we getting into territory that might be a little high? I don't know. My gut doesn't feel right. I wish it was a little, a little lower than that. You are cute. Look at those mighty antlers. Oh, you're cute. It's a little mirror down here. Has an eagle on it. Five dollars. Hmm. Possibility. It'd be kind of cool to paint it and then make that eagle gold and do like if you painted it black, do the eagle gold or navy and then put some gold rub and buff edging on it. When it gets to like the feeling of springtime, oh look at you. You know, when it gets to the feeling of being like springtime, I don't know what it is, but I start getting this craving to like create and to paint. It just comes on more. The change of the season. Oh, these floral flowers are so pretty. A little messy. $2.99. 2002. That is so pretty. Look at those flowers. Cookie cutters. I don't know what that is. What is this? Ooh, waffle maker. Pottery bowl. Five ninety nine. 
Yeah, it takes the price on that one. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I love it. It's just out of my budget. Day. What is it day now? I don't know. 999 on this island. 10 deals a little. Oh, look what's happened though. Somebody has decided to scratch off the $500 tag. Could that be movement? Could we have now reconsidered that maybe $500 on this piece was a little redonkulous? New chapter. Stay tuned. The saga continues. Excuse me while I get a little excited here. My childhood in a box. <sighs> I spent so time, so much time making bracelets and earrings on my loom. I love, love it. I have such good memories. I have one hand to pull it out with. Let me see. Again. So excited! I see you again. Somebody's already got it loaded up, ready to go. Look at this. What is this? There's a note inside. There's a note inside. There is a note inside. What do we got on here? Oh, this is somebody's key to uh, making their designs. Mom Over. probably still has mine in the closet. Okay, let's see what you got. Oh, Battleship. Battleship. Can you dress like a little sailor? How do you fit it all in there? So it has a little thing in there like that. <laughs> and then you got a little one. A little oh pencil gosh. in there. So that's How do you one map out your grid? Well, that's what you do. You, it shows you the different things you can do. Your moves. Well. Yeah. You get that. Mm -hmm. You get the battleship. I get the bee limb. <laughs> Jungle book. Whoa. Yeah. It's Still in the box. Oh, yeah. Does it even have any of its. What year is it from? Oh, what was his name? Mowgli? Mowgli, yeah. yeah Mowgli. I used to love the jungle book. Junior gem gemologist. All right, so no. Do you see what's wrong in here? Oh boy, this is really mixed up. This is a game we play. Do you see any lap? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's no turquoise in there. Yeah. So Carnelian does not go there. Let's help the next person out. And then this is the bandit gate. Bandit gate. There's parts open. Yeah. It's just for since of course somebody stole the turquoise. Yeah. yeah. We all want the turquoise. Antiques Roadshow, the game. Look, this is where we quiz. All right, let's do an Antiques Roadshow. What are we looking at? Oh, the game. How do you play this? See this? That was so good. Oh my, Moira. Mm -hmm. I loved that. I don't know how you're supposed to play this, but I guess it gives you facts about stuff and things. Stuff and things. Oh, the Rubik's Cube. Dude, this section is too fun. See, they are smart. They just left it. I know, in the package. Mm -hmm. Oh, I spent many a time on the Rubik's Cube. Mm. And um, I will only say this once, that yes, I did change the stickers around. I'll never admit to it anymore again other than this moment right now, but yeah. Matt, is that a Hello Kitty scuba diving? Dude, dude, this is where it's at today in the toy section. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Look at it. What'd you find? <gasps> What'd you throw to me? Oh. He's a kitty patootie. Oh. We're having too much fun in the toy section. Somebody's going to be like, behave yourselves. Go back to the home decor section. Cute little table for 15. Oh, here's some home decor. Oh, Matt's gonna play us a tune on the guitar. That's kind of cool. Oh, this is a nice little set here. I would have to paint it. $250 for two pieces. Oh, that would just, just too much make somebody scream. I think this might be possibly like a hair salon type deal I I here. I was thinking maybe it was like for a salon or something. It is. It even comes with the hair rollers. What do we got over here? We got this little bench. I've seen that. 
$12. Cute little thing for somebody's room. Oh, Matt, look at this. I buy these for the store, put them up on something, and then you can like put your figures into them. Okay, let's see how much this is because this might be a store thing. All right, I'm gonna lift you up. You tell me what the price is, okay. Do you see anything? What is it? I think it says $7.99. Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab it. really seen a whole lot that I want on the shelf but I'm coming back for this guy I think maybe I'm not maybe I'm not look at that I don't know about that it almost looks like one of those old celery dishes mm -hmm. we'll $2.99 yeah. you think it might glow I think it might be <gasps> that's heavy yeah, that's well if it doesn't we could always use it for decor Mm. Do you want to take a chance? Do you feel risky? Let's take a chance. All right, so we're gonna take this. We're rolling the dice on two things today because we're flying. Yeah. Let's get back to the light. store. You know I was gonna come back for this, but upon closer inspection, we'll leave that. We'll leave that. We will take this. You see this guy here? Yeah. You know how we have some spoons. of those little spoons that we sell? Do you think they would hang on here? Do we want to? How much is it? Three ninety nine. Could be a display for them. Do you think they would fit in here? You think they would fall through? They have a little crystal on the top of them. Yeah, but it's not. But it's not a big one, is it? Yeah, those spoons are much smaller. Okay, I'll leave it. Ooh, I told you where those. Brand new. We are back at the shop and the sun is coming in. Do you see it over there? It's coming in through the uh, window. All right, let's go play with our new find. So this space right here, I'm thinking about doing something to create like some height on this crystal table here. So what I could do is put these fluorite pieces. There's a lot of specimens on that shelf. So let me see what it would look like. So just did a wipe down of this thing, Lysoled it, got it nice and clean. So the options are we keep it like this. And then, you know, this could be for figurines, for statues, for little, you know, home decor pieces, whatever. Um, then there's also the back, and this is the back of it, which means that if I face it this way, and I can just take these little hangy dudes off. There's one on either side, but it opens the shelves up bigger. So I think I might put it th on this side and then put my specimens into it. And let's see if what I have in mind will fit. There's also this section. This used to be full of all kinds of mushrooms that we found on our trip. And the majority of them are sold. So I can kind of put those little bits together. And if I wanted to, I could put it right here as well. Because this is a pretty long table. I might do that. Although I like the idea of the height. Hmm. Okay, so I put it up this way. Now I'm gonna put these fluorite chunks inside. Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm really liking this. I'm standing next to the well, guys, if you hear water. So yeah, so this is the fluorite. Got a few more little small pieces. I might have some fluorite figurines, little creatures and stuff that I can sit around here. Uh, but this is the beginnings. I'll also take these little guys off right here tomorrow. It's almost the end of our shop day. And then with everything as well, what we do is we do a, like little signs that talk about the meanings, um, the energy associated with the crystals. And so we can do a nice little display for fluorite known as the genius stone. So yeah, we'll put some uh, signage up and continue to work on that later. This was something fun that we put out today. We have these stainless steel gem cages you can carry your crystals with you so yeah it's fun to pick around the shop and add stuff so yeah that was a fun little pick today i'm so glad i got that little piece right there sometimes you know i always say i never leave empty-handed i can always find something at a thrift store that i can make use of in this case this was the bell of the ball to be able to um just add another little piece of eye candy to my store get to work on it tomorrow I'll probably drape some leaves over it or something very light across the top just to dress it up anyhow I will see you guys again real soon take care and thanks for watching